In version 15.2, we introduce a new XAF module, the Maps module. It allows you to display business objects on a map in ASP.NET applications. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use vector maps. Let's start with a new XAF project. I click File, New Project, and choose the XAF Solution Wizard in the XAF category. I set the project name to Vector Maps Example and click OK. In the Solution Wizard, I choose Web Platform, Entity Framework Code First ORM Type, and finally include the Maps module. The new XAF solution is created. And I open this file. Here, I add the country entity that supports the iArea info interface. This interface is declared in the devexpress.persistent.base namespace. Now I use the code editor's context menu to implement this interface in the country class. I declare the getter and the setter for the title property because I'm going to specify its value at runtime and save it to the database. In the tooltip getter, I return the tooltip text. Note that I'll use HTML formatting. The first line of the tooltip will be the country name using the bold font, and the second will display the value associated with the current country. I'll declare the getter and setter for the value property in a similar manner. I apply the browsable attribute with the false parameter to the tooltip property. As a result, this property will be hidden in the country detail view. In addition to properties declared in the iArea info interface, I declare the key property for the location entity. The key property is required by the entity framework. Next, I'll apply the browsable attribute with the false parameter to hide the ID property from the UI. Next, I apply the default class options attribute because I'm going to access countries from my app's navigation panel. And finally, I add the country entity to my DB context. Let's save the changes and rebuild the solution to make the country entity available in the model editor. I start the model editor by clicking the model.xafml file located in the vector maps example.web project. The country list view node has the vector map settings child node. Here I can change the vector map options. For example, I can change the map type from world to Europe. The Interval Items node allows you to categorize map areas by their associated values. I add the child nodes to define the bounds of these categories. Next, I create the first item corresponding to the lowest value. I create the second item with the 10 value. So map areas whose values are in the 1, 10 interval will be classified as first. I create the max item with the 20 value, so map areas whose values are in the 10 to 20 interval will be classified as second. Now it's time to run the application to see the result. Here is the vector map of Europe. There are no highlighted areas because I didn't create any countries yet. I can create a country using the New button. I set the title to France and the value to 7. I click Save and New to create another country. I set the title to Germany and the value to 12. France and Germany are now highlighted with different colors because their associated values are in different intervals. Intervals and their colors are listed in the map legend located in the bottom right corner of the map. If I click a country, its detail view is shown. I change the value associated with France to 13 and save the changes. And in the map, you can see that France and Germany are now highlighted with the same color because their associated values are in the same interval. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress. Express.